What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back for another top 10. This time I'm doing the top 10 birds. Number 10, pigeons, man. Pigeons are number 10, because they're always out here, man. I'm familiar with these guys and girls. Pigeons are always they're everywhere. They are everywhere, and they don't get enough credit, man. You ever just look at pigeons when you're at the grocery store coming out, you're putting your groceries in the truck and they just walking around, like, you know, looking for scraps? Or you're downtown, you got a little break from work, the pigeons are always there for you, you know what I'm saying? You just had a meeting with accounts receivable and they just out there looking, how'd the meeting go? You got some breadcrumbs in there, you know what I mean? Their diet is horrible. They living off the city streets, scraps, they look dirty. Some pigeons look better than others. You ever see that raggedy pigeon on the streets? Look like he got roughed up by the collar. Like, what happened to you, man? He's like, it's hard out here, man. I've been out here for four years. I don't know how long a pigeon lifespan is, but four years on the streets, that's a long time. Anyway, pigeons, number 10. All right, number nine, ostrich. The biggest bird on the planet, man. Ostrich, they're so big, they don't even look like birds. They look like straight raptors. You know what I'm saying? The feet, you ever look at the ostrich's feet? They look like straight reptiles, man. And they so tall and weird looking. And they don't fly and they can run fast. It's creepy, man. But they're so huge. Like, if you, if you ever saw an ostrich in your living room, they are gonna look huge in there. Just imagine that. Imagine you come home, you see ostrich in your living room. What are you gonna do? What's the next move? What's the next move? Do you back out? You got a dog in there looking, barking at the ostrich. It's just awkward for everybody, man. This is a huge bird. It looks like a bird you can ride. And that's creepy, man. Creepy. Imagine an ostrich in your bathroom window. You getting out the shower, there's one looking in there like, what you gonna do? You gonna be like, why is it an ostrich outside? I live on the second floor. That's how big they are, man. These are, these are half raptor, half bird creatures, man. I don't even want to get into the sounds they can make. I'm like, yo, this is straight Jurassic Park right here. When you want to know how dinosaurs look, you look at alligators and ostriches. I can't even say ostrich on the plural tip. Ostriches, scrambled eggs. Anyway, ostrich, number nine. All right, number eight, cockatoo. Cockatoos look so regal. They look pompous. I like the little pompous when it comes up over the top. They think they better than you with that. Like, you can just feel the royalty, man. They walking around, they stomping around, and then it comes up. They look real pompous and regal. It's just a great look, man. And then they're, they're loud, noisy, and very, like, intense. You ever been around a cockatoo? They're very, like, what you, what you talking about over here? They close talkers, too. Like, they'll get in your face. They'll be right here, all in your grill piece. Like, no regard for personal space because they feel like, yo, it's an honor for you to be in my presence. You see this. Embrace it. You know what I mean? Like, cockatoos got that kind of arrogance about them. Even if, I don't even think they mean it. This is just how they are. And I think it has everything to do with this little pompadour they got at the top. It's just, how can you not be pompous with this in the front? And you could tilt it back if you want to be humble one day, but they out here like, yo, you gonna feel this. Cockatoos, man, number eight. Number seven, seagulls. Now seagulls are on this list, not because I really like them, but just because they have such a impact on my opinion that they had to make the list, man. Seagulls are so disrespectful. Like, whatever you got going at the beach picnic, they gonna come and dabble in. I don't care if you got hot Cheetos, they will take it. I saw a seagull take a bag of hot Cheetos. He wanted the bag so bad, he had a bag tied around his neck. This was a plastic bag and hot Cheetos. I was like, what are you gonna do with the hot Cheetos? They gonna tear your esophagus up, bird. That bird probably didn't even survive the night eating hot Cheetos. How dare you? But just the greediness. That's why in, in Finding Nemo, when they're like, mine, they really mean that. They think they, they think they're entitled to everything you got going on the beach. And don't have your little meal on the balcony piece. Oh, they pulling up. You on the balcony at the, at the shore. You know, you got your little nice little hotel room. You take your little room service out to the balcony. A seagull is pulling up. Mine. That's a real thing. That's the noise they make. That's why they number seven on this list. Seagulls, you greedy bastards. Number six, hummingbirds. 
Hummingbirds are always a rare treat to see in person. Like you never expect it. At first you think it's like a big bee or like a, a wasp or something. You're like, oh, 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 hey. It just brightens your whole day. Like, oh, it's, it's a hummingbird. Everybody's whole demeanor switches when you see a hummingbird. You could be in mid robbery. You could see a hummingbird and chill out. It's like, yeah, let me get that purse. Oh, it's a hummingbird. Look, look, it's a hummingbird. Oh. Hummingbirds, man, you just never ready to see one. They look so peaceful. You hear the little music, do 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 do. It just comes to your brain immediately. And their wings, the the fast flap, it's incredible, man. Their wings are so quick, it looks like it's not even moving. I'm like, wow, incredible. So little. They just look like they represent life on Earth right there in that moment, man. Hummingbirds, number six. Number five, geese. Geese are number five simply because I have so much beef with them. I've never been assaulted by as many birds as geese, especially a white one. I don't know what it is about a white geese. It's so aggressive. I remember I was living in Orange, California. I went to this park all the time to run and walk the park. This white geese, every time, he was always out there chasing me, man. He always hung out, he hung out with two brown geese and he was a white geese. He was the only one that was hassling me, man. I was like, what, what is this? He was like, I don't know what it is, but get out of here. Like, he was chasing me, chasing me down every time. I would see him just like, oh, come on, man, not today. One time I went the other way because I saw him and he saw me. It was like a double take. He did a double take when he saw me too. He was like, oh, you back again. And I was like, he, he was ruining my life. But geese, like when they fly around and like when they're in the water, like, oh, the geese, man, look at this. But then when you got beef with one, man. So I had to put geese on the list because it made such an impact to where I'm avoiding the whole park because of a geese, oh, come on, a goose. Is that, is that a singular? A goose, one goose. The geese is a crew. But man, I should just say goose on this list instead of geese because it was that one particular goose that just made my life a living hell. It's like this white goose that hangs around with two brown ones. He keeps coming for me, man. I wonder if he's still at that park. What's the lifespan of a goose? If you know in the comment section below, let me know the lifespan of a goose. And I'm gonna calculate. Because if he's still there, I'm gonna go back up there. And I'm gonna show him I'm not scared no more. All right, I'm a man. Number five. Geese, goose, whatever it is, red goose. Number four, falcons. Falcons are so dope, man. The noise they make, how fast they fly. They say the fastest animal on the planet is a peregrine falcon. So dope, man. They just look like they just, I don't know, man. Just to look at them, it's just amazing, man. It's so fast, like huge. Like when you see a falcon, you're like, look at that bird. And the way they hunt and grab, it's like, oh, it's amazing, man. And that noise, I can listen to falcon noises all day. The little screech they make or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but it's amazing, man. Amazing animal. It sounds dope. Falcon, Falcon Crest, the Atlanta Falcons. It's just a dope name, man. I don't know where the name originated, what it means, but it's a dope name to have. Beautiful creature, man. Falcons are my number four. Number three, bald eagle. America itself. The bald eagle, man. Bald eagles are dope because they just got the the white head. That's just a dope standout, man. He's just like, boom, we out here. You know what I'm saying? Look at my face. Nothing says look at my face more than when your face is a different color than your entire body. Incredible, man. Eagles are just magnificent, man. The way they look, it's like rare to see them. Like, I, have I ever seen an eagle in person? I don't think so. I mean, the zoo doesn't count. I mean, like when I'm just out and about, like I want to be in the mountains somewhere and I just see an eagle, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get carried off by one. I know they're pretty strong. There's some eagles out here grabbing like goats and carrying them off. Crazy. And those eagle talons, man, oh, the talons? Oh, man. And to watch an eagle grab a fish out of the sea is just incredible to see. Like, how do you how do you even know to come in? You gotta time it just right. You gotta add the visuals down. Birds are just incredible. And the bald eagle is pompous. It has to be pompous. It's like, yeah, you know, I'm the symbol for the nation. You know what I'm saying? They have to be looking at other birds like, hey, you know what it is. Bald eagle. You wanna be like me? Lose your hairline. It's all about bald life. Your bald is key. That's why I'm bald right now, because of the Eagles, man. 
I'm lying, but it just sounded good. Bald Eagles, number three. Number two, crows. Crows, man, super smart animals, man. Crow, don't sleep on crows. And I don't even think they're fooled by scarecrows anymore. I think they just do that to make us feel better. Like, yeah, you got the scarecrow on there. Like, we know it's fake. These animals are geniuses, man. The stuff they do, crows remember you. They remember you. Like, if you mistreat a crow, they remember what you did and they tell their friends. That's incredible. The fact that they tell the homies about you, oh man, that's scary, man. They're like, yo, man, it's this dude down the street. He captured me, you know what I'm saying? Tortured me all night, I escaped. Where's his house at? Oh, it's down the street. It's a little pink house right here. Let's wait for him to come out. And then they can attack you as a unit. That's incredible, man. It's petty and incredible. I love it. I love petty, petty animals. I don't know. Crows, number two. Number one, owls. You probably already knew it was gonna be number one since it made the top 10 animal list. So owls are my number one, man. Those birds are just so cool. They are cool, spooky looking. They look smart, they, they look creepy. There's a superstition attached to them. It's just so much into an owl, man. They know how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. It's just an incredible creature. The fact that they can just turn their heads so smooth and the way they just stand, like, you know, they don't stand like other birds. Like their shape is different. It's like they kind of standing straight up rather than just kind of curved around and looking around. They just like, no. You know, it's very human-like in a sense. They get the little round head and they just looking at you. Eyes are huge, eyes are up front. They get the full predator eyes like up front. They're not on the side like, you know, beautiful creatures, man. But that head turn, if somebody could turn their head like an owl in real life, you know how creepy they would be? Oh, that's creepy. Imagine that, you sitting in the classroom, you sitting behind somebody, you taking notes. You're like, hey man, uh, what'd you put down for number 12? And they do a complete turnaround. Uh, it's actually uh, sodium sulfide. I'm transferring from that school immediately, you understand me? Owls are the number one bird of all time, man. Let me know. Let me know about your top 10 birds. What's your favorite birds out here in the streets? Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and as usual, we out here.